The Cold War was raging. The dynamic duo of nuclear nations, the United States and the Soviet Union, engaged in the ultimate Cold War contest, the space race. Into the fray came a couple of unlikely heroes, Abel and Baker, space monkeys to the rescue. On October 4th, 1957, the Russians launched Sputnik 1, the first satellite to orbit the Earth. The enemy had made it to space. It was time for the U.S. to catch up. In July of 1958, Congress formed the National Aeronautic and Space Administration to make the Atomic Age space race a little more civil and less military. A few months later, the agency launched Project Noah's Ark, the first small step in the Mercury astronaut program. That's where Abel and Baker come in. They were in line to take the United States where no man or monkey had gone before, to space and back. They were part of a team of monkeys training rigorously for just such a mission. Abel and the other Reese's monkeys with the army at Walter Reed near Washington. Baker and the squirrel monkeys with the Navy in Pensacola, Florida. The monkeys went through their own astronaut training, flight simulations, weightlessness, IQ tests. For several months, they were subjected to a multitude of tests to see which ones had the right stuff. Scientists kept meticulous performance records for all the monkeys. Three days before the mission, two monkeys were chosen for duty, two female monkeys. It would be Abel and Baker, the best and the brightest. At least it's sitting still. At military research centers, some of the best scientists in America had been hard at work building the capsules for the monkey's trip. Abel's capsule was 41 inches long, with controlled air, temperature, and pressure, all of life's necessities, minus the bananas. On this short 15-minute flight, there would be no need for food or beverage. Abel was held in place by what engineers called a specially contoured couch made of fiberglass with half-inch thick polyurethane foam padding. Baker had her own tiny capsule, complete with her own tiny couch. It too came ready with life support systems and biological instruments. Both capsules were wrapped in a space age material, aluminum foil, and placed in the nose cone of a single army built Jupiter ballistic missile. The world watched as NASA prepared to send its animal envoys into outer space. Both Abel and Baker were fed raw peanuts just before takeoff to induce constipation, but just in case, they were wearing charcoal-lined diapers. On May 28, 1959, at 2.35 a.m., the missile lifted from the pad at Cape Canaveral, climbed through a thin layer of clouds, and roared towards space. During their short trip 300 miles over the Atlantic, Abel and Baker were weightless for nine minutes. The only thing left to do was to make it back, alive. Uh, these things really slammed down back into the atmosphere. They really came down with enormous acceleration, some 30 to 40 uh, times the pull of gravity, which is more than any astronaut ever uh, has been, could be subjected to. In less than 15 minutes, the 1,500-mile journey was over. Abel and Baker splashed down in choppy seas 40 miles north of Antigua. The capsule was pulled aboard the USS Kiowa and opened. The space monkeys had made it, alive and well. On board, Abel and Baker got the first class treatment as they steamed toward Puerto Rico. There, they hopped a plane to Washington. During the flight, Baker took the time to scan newspaper stories of her now celebrated exploits. When they arrived, the world famous monkeys received a hero's welcome. But three days after the flight, during a routine minor operation to remove a heart monitoring electrode, events took a tragic turn for Abel. The doctors gave Abel an anesthetic to alleviate the discomfort. Sadly, she had an adverse reaction to it. Moments later, she stopped breathing and died. With Abel gone, Baker basked in the glory for a little while longer. In July of 1959, she was awarded a medal for her contribution to humanity. Baker quietly spent the rest of her life in a special habitat at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. The public inevitably lost interest in Abel and Baker as human astronauts replaced them. 
But on that special day in May of 59, two monkeys became the first primates, the first Americans, and the first females to make a round trip to space. They helped make the United States number one in the space race. Baker was 27 years old, three times her life expectancy, when she died on November 29, 1984. She's buried near the entrance to the Rocket Center under a five-foot granite memorial marking her place in history. In honor of her sacrifice, the government had Abel stuffed for posterity, and she has taken her rightful place among her space-age peers. Abel the Space Monkey is on exhibit in the Apollo to the Moon Gallery at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington.